Hello Cancers. This is your monthly for January. This is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. Let's see, guys. We're going to go ahead and do a Celtic cross. I'm going to lay the cards face down, and then we'll explore them together, okay? All right. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Please hit the like button, share the video, subscribe to the channel. That would be much appreciated. If you guys are interested in a personal reading, um, the information is down below. This is a general, so it's not going to resonate with everyone. But again, if you're interested in a personal, then um, go ahead and visit the website. Check it out. Okay. All right, guys. Here we go. How you're seeing yourself as a chariot. That's your card. Out the gate. I feel that um, you guys are looking at the past. You're looking at 2018 and going, yeah, I, I, I'm like, I'm ready for 2019. I'm, I'm looking forward to what this year um, has in store for me. And I feel like there's something that um, you guys are excited about. There's something that you started that you are excited about, I feel. Let's see. That's that's positive right there. Hmm. Let's see the energy around you. Hmm. This is worry. The Eight of Swords. But with the chariot um, and how you see yourself, I feel like this Eight of Swords is not the result of something that is bad. I feel like there's something that you've started that you are feeling um, good about that's kind of got you, you know, you're busy. You're busy, you're focused, and it's taking a lot of your mental capacity to, you know, get this thing going, whatever this is. Let's see what the challenge is for you. Hmm. To be patient. Because slow and steady wins the race. Okay? To be patient, to know that you are on the right track, and to keep your eyes forward. Do not look back, okay? Because actually, the chariot, even though you're moving forward, like you're excited about what it is that you are um, partaking in, uh, you're still looking back to the past of this card. If you can see the card um, laying on the table right now, you're going forward, but you're kind of looking back. Like I said, looking at 2018 and whatever mishaps, whatever um, situations, uh, arose and saying I'm out you know um, but your challenge is to stay focused okay stay focused on on the things that um, you're excited about that you are striving towards do not do not get thrown off your off your path is is what I'm getting okay let's see why you're here yeah I think Whatever, whatever it is that you're excited about, I think you got into, um, you you got into this this new thing because you are getting over. You're getting over something that really, really hurt you. And I think whatever it was, excuse me, that really hurt you started you on this new path. I think whatever you had um, you started was a d direct result of this heartache. It's like um, sometimes when, when you're hurt, you find other things to do to occupy yourself. And I kind of feel like you stumbled upon something. Something good though. To try to get your mind off of this heartache. You stumbled on something that's gonna bring you a lot of success. And you started this 
to kind of get your mind off this hurt, to try to get over this hurt, to put that to bay, at bay. And yeah, this is going to be, whatever it is, is going to, be, I feel it being lucrative for you because, because you're, you're being challenged to keep your eye on the prize. Okay, stay on your path. <laughs> keep going forward. Do not look back. Turn your head around, okay? Keep your eye on the prize. Let's see what's going on with you guys before. Yeah, you started something new. I, I believe a lot of you have started a new business. This was something that I feel like started out um, kind of like a hobby, possibly. That... It was something that that really helped you to get over to get past this heartache now this this heartache is still um, ever present but you're coming off of it okay and whatever it was that you started in the past is propelling you forward and leading you down a path towards abundance and I think this is like um financial abundance you know uh, and quite possibly there is an earth sign that is um that is interested has possibly offered you something as well maybe like um to date or something like that taurus virgo capricorn you also have uh gemini in your reading okay let's see what the best possible outcome is The best possible outcome is that you, you will be sure of yourself. Do not doubt yourself. This is being in two minds. This is being, this is being confident um, and sure of yourself and knowing that the decision that you have made and the decisions that you continue to make are right for cancer. Okay? They're right for you. And I feel like that's probably where, um, that's why this is the energy that's around you because I think you're kind of debating about, you know, was this the right decision? Is this the right choice for me? Should I continue with this or should I back off of it or whatever? Okay, so you're being challenged here to um, keep your eye on the prize, stay on the path because you're going towards success here with the chariot. Okay, so do not doubt yourself. Do not doubt yourself. Feel confident that what you are doing, where you are going, is right for you. All right? In the near future, look at this. I feel like you guys are meeting someone that, um, hmm, that's destined for you. Because, you know, the way it works and you're healing. Because you're coming off of this broken heart. You're healing, okay? So, you know, usually what happens is once you get all your ducks in a row, your finances, your family, um, those aspects, then it's like things just continue to fall in line for you, okay? You may not even be looking for love. I feel it's coming though. Because your vibration, you, you are raising your vibration and people can energetically feel that. When you walk into the grocery store, when you walk into your job, when you go to the gas station, just the way that you are putting off your energy is drawing people in, okay? Yes. Let's see your outside influences. Ooh. See what I'm talking about? Hmm. Now, this could be, you know, a father figure for some of you. But I'm feeling mostly that this is this is this is a mate. This this is somebody that that is watching you, that's attracted to you, that is very strong in nature. Um, this is a business owner.
Hmm. I'm I'm getting that. I'm getting that this this has a lot to do with where you're going. That that you are going to be in charge, successful, business owner. For those of you who have started a business, you're going to the top. You're going to the top. And then and who that was that was heavy. Um hmm. You're going to the top and I see you getting to a point where you're looking back at where you have come from. And you're going to be on top of the world. You're going to be on top of the world. I feel you being very successful here with this star. This, you know, this is literally like, um, for some of you, like I said, that have just started a business this you're you're going you're going to rise up so that you will be recognized by so many people um not like celebrity status could be but i mean more so like people are going to know who you are that kind of that kind of thing um and i just feel that strongly Okay. This is your hopes and fears. I feel like your hope is not only to find love, but I feel like your hope is to be able to share the love. You want other people to feel loved. Um, and not just in an intimate setting, but more just in general. So I'm getting the I'm getting the feeling that whatever it is that you're doing involves helping people. Yeah. Look at this. This is your um, overall outcome right here, the Wheel of Fortune. You're gonna be so successful. I'm getting chills. You're going to be so successful. And I feel like whatever you have done before, you must have you must have done something really good and, and right, even through being brokenhearted. Because the karma that is coming your way, beautiful. Here again, you're going towards success. I'm recapping here for you guys, okay? You're going towards success. There's a need for you to keep your eye on the ball. Keep looking forward, okay? I know it's heavy, and I know times may, you know, get tough, and things may get trying for you, but there is a need to, you're, you're being challenged, again, to keep on the path that you're on. I'm trying to get that glare off of there. Keep on the path that you're on, um, slow and steady wins the race. Just know that you're on the right path. Okay. You're coming off of this broken heart and you know, because of the broken heart, you started something that you, that was possibly just something to get your mind off of the, off of the heartache. Okay. Be sure about yourself. Be sure, be sure because you will, you will be healed and recognized for your efforts here. Be successful, be confident. You're gonna be on top of the world. You're gonna feel like that. You will spread the love and good fortune comes your way for sure.
Ooh. All right, Cancer. So that is your January monthly. And um, yeah, this is a good reading, guys. I feel like this is more about you guys, your personal journey, honestly, more so than anything else. I feel like love is coming your way for sure with this Two of Cups and the Star card for sure, but I feel like it's coming your way unexpectedly.